people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me in a very, very tremendous way, in a very shocking manner. Yesterday at night, the night before this night, the Lord Jehovah showed me the glorious tears that I prophesied on January 15th, the year 2017. He showed them to me again. And he showed me those tears up there that the church was about to be taken. But this night today, the Lord spoke with me in a very, very tremendous way and also instructed me by voice that I should go live on air before morning. Before morning, it was, because it was already past midnight. Then he said, between midnight and morning, it would be good if you go live on air. The person of the Holy Spirit himself spoke by voice and told me that. And uh, in this tremendous announcement of the throne of God Almighty this night, the Lord Jehovah showed me the sky and there was pitch darkness in the sky. And then the person of the Holy Spirit appeared and began to sing for me a song. He sang for me a song, a beautiful song though, but that song was talking about the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming, beautiful. The person of the Holy Spirit himself sang for me a song saying the Messiah is coming is coming, and I was looking up into the sky in the darkness, it was dark, and then all of a sudden, something like a streak of a lightning happened, all of a sudden, something like a streak of lightning happened, a flash in the twinkling of an eye, and the church was taken, it, the unbelievable beloved people, what I, what I saw is very shocking, it's like a streak of lightning in the sky. I thought the church had been taken. It is so shocking that when I woke up from that conversation with the person of the Holy Spirit himself, with God the Holy Spirit himself, I was so shocked I thought the church had been taken. That is when I fell asleep again and then he appeared again and he walked with me and he said, you need to go live on air between now and morning. So again, yesterday the Lord Jehovah, He showed me the glorious stairs that I prophesied, which were now lowered on March 11th, the year 2018. The prophecy I gave on January 15th, the year 2017. Until the Lord showed the stairs, lowered the stairs, March 11th, so he showed me those stairs in the sky the night before this night, right here from Barcelona, where there's a big conference going on here. There's a big conversation the Lord is having with the church. But then this night, the person of the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit himself, he came and spoke with me this night, and he made me look up into the sky. It was really very dark up in the sky, and then he began to sing for me a song, a very beautiful song, but when I listened very carefully the words of that song, they were saying that the Messiah is coming, the Messiah is coming, the Messiah is coming, a very beautiful song, but saying that the Messiah is coming, and then after that, as I was still looking up into the sky, then a streak like lightning did, just a streak of lightning across the sky. And the church was taken. Beloved people, it will be a very swift event. It almost, I don't know whether it will last even a second. It is so fast. I saw like a streak of lightning across the sky. And the church was taken. And then I fell asleep. And then the person of the Holy Spirit himself came and began to walk with me again. God the Holy Spirit himself began to walk with me again while I'm in Barcelona in Spain for this tremendous national conference taking place in Barcelona where the Lord is speaking to the church in a very shocking manner. 
in a very mighty way about eternity and about preparing for the coming of the Messiah. And so, when I fell asleep again, then the person of the Holy Spirit himself appeared, God the Holy Spirit, and he began to walk with me. So he was walking with me, and then he said, I would advise you to go live on air now, because it was past midnight. He said, between midnight and morning, now, don't wait. So, when the first time, before he came and told me that I should go live on air before morning, the first part of the conversation, when I woke up, I thought the church had been taken. I was I, I thought the church has been taken. Until he came back and told me to make sure that I go live on air at night now. But this is very awesome, beloved people. Very tremendous. This is the same conversation I've been having with the church globally. The same conversation I've been having with the church globally. That the Messiah is coming... And there is no time. The church needs to go back to righteousness and holiness. Time is over. And so I remember, in a, it's a tremendous moment. The church was taken in that dream. And he said, I should go on air and announce it now that the church will be taken. But he was singing a song, a beautiful song. And the song said that the church, that the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming, meaning the church will be taken. Then the third part of this conversation tonight, this visitation tonight, of God the Holy Spirit himself, the person of the Holy Spirit, now he took me after the rapture has happened, after the church has been taken, and I saw a lot of soldiers, there were, some, there were a lot of army people, army people driving vehicles, and so the Lord took his servant, they were looking for his servant, they were looking for me. There's a situation, a very hostile. So, the Lord flies me to the top of the mountain. So he took me to the top of the hill. And from the top of the hill, so I called for fire, and they began to destroy the soldiers that were being sent to try to subjugate the tremendous witnesses and servants of the Lord. And fire came from heaven, began to burn the soldiers in their trucks. Many, many of them, as they came, they were being set on fire, incinerated. That is a different scenario. But he, may, he took me beyond when the church has been taken. So, beloved people, even as we are in Barcelona here, tremendous national conference, very powerful conference in Barcelona here, the Lord is saying, let the church prepare for the coming of the Messiah. Nobody knows the day or the hour. In the book of Matthew, chapter 24, if you read from verse 36 down, it tells you no one knows the day or the hour, not even the Messiah not even the angels of heaven, only God the Father. You can see that now, God the Father, he that knows the day and the hour, this is a sensitive, very critical and crucial conversation right now, beloved people. These are the days we live in. And I've seen some pictures also that were sent uh, in our email. So yesterday the Lord actually doubled his servant at the meeting. So these are tremendous times in the history of this church. These are shocking times when there is no room for philosophy, theology, theories, paradigms of life, university education on theology and what. Let us just prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The standard of the Lord is holy for we don't. Nobody will see the Lord. This night, God has spoken with me. He has announced from his throne room and spoken with me. And he sang a beautiful song, God the Holy Spirit. He sang a beautiful song. And the song said, the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. And I was looking up into the sky. It was very thick dark. Then all of a sudden, a streak like lightning in the sky, like that. Like lightning, a streak of lightning, pure across the sky like this. And it was done. I don't know whether it will even last one second, the taking of the church. And it was done. Then after that, he asked me to make sure I go live on air before morning. He said, it would be better for you to go live on air between now midnight and morning. And he said, it would, it would help. It would really help the church, he said. So I panicked, beloved people. But again, 
This is what the throne room of God announced. The Messiah is coming. Be ready. I need to run to as many countries. Beloved people, this night even as we prepare for the mega healing service here in Barcelona, the Lord has spoken in a very sensitive way. He has spoken about the coming of the Messiah. And the beautiful nation of Spain is receiving a powerful message right now. They are receiving a message of purification. The message of return to purity. The message of the announcement of the Messiah is coming. The message of the kingdom of God is coming. The message of rejecting sin. Of repenting. Returning to righteousness. The message of correcting the doctrine. Very, very powerful. Every nation needs to be given an opportunity. My time is running out. Beloved people, this is what the Lord has said. Right from Barcelona here. That the Messiah is coming. Then I saw the coming of the Messiah. I saw him take the church. So prepare the way, beloved people. This is the one about whom it was written in the Bible. That I will send my messenger before the dreadful day of the Lord comes. The Messiah is coming. Prepare the way in your hearts. Turn away from sexual sin. Turn away from nudity. Turn away from dressing in immorality. Pastors, wives. The women in the church. The young men in the church. Turn away from sexual sin. Be right with God. Time is over. Be born again. Receive the Holy Spirit to help you to be righteous. The Messiah is coming. It will be an irretrievable day, irreversible day when it does happen. So that's shalom. <laughs>